Hey Golden Eagles, we're excited to announce a brand new way to interact with your help desk and to hopefully get your IT questions answered right as you have them. This is our brand new Tennessee Tech self-service portal. Let's go ahead and take a tour of the great features that'll make the technical side of your time here at Tech a breeze. But first, we'll need to log in. Like almost everything else here at Tech, you'll be able to access the self-service portal straight from Tech Express. Just look for the little red lifesaver icon, click it, and you'll be taken right to the homepage with your name up in the corner. No need to log in again. This is our main homepage. Here, you'll see buttons to browse the services we offer to submit a ticket straight to the help desk. Another one to browse our knowledge base and view hundreds of articles filled with information to answer any IT question you may have. This button to search our service catalog and knowledge base to see all the info we provide on a subject. And this button to check the status of any previous tickets you may have entered. You can also see that I'm signed in up at the top. Make sure that you're signed into your TTU account to see all the articles available to you. Some of them will not be visible to anyone outside of tech. Let's go through the typical process of having a question and getting it resolved just to show you the ropes. In this example, I want to install a piece of software onto my computer. For now, let's say I need SOLIDWORKS, a common piece of engineering software. So to start, I'll take a look at the knowledge base to see if they have any articles that may help me find where to begin. I'll go ahead and search for SOLIDWORKS, either here at the search portal button or up here at the top. Here's what we want, the SEK version of SOLIDWORKS. Let's see what it says. Here is a full guide for installation, but I'm seeing here on step 10, it requires a serial number. My professor hasn't provided me with one, so I'll need to ask the help desk. Here's a link that goes straight to the service I'll need. Excellent. I'm going to click the request service button to get my ticket started. Here is the form I'll use to make sure the help desk has all the information they need to help me out. Up at the top, I can see that the title had places for me to put some information. I've already changed it to describe our request. Here's my name and some additional information, so they already have my TTU account. Here's a place for a phone number, so they can reach out to me if needed. And here's where I can describe my issue. I've gone ahead and typed, I need the SOLIDWORKS SEK key to be able to install it for my class. Perfect. We'll also put in what type of device we'll need to install it on. I'm using a Windows machine. And we'll select which software we need, which is SOLIDWORKS. That should be everything. Let's go ahead and hit the request button to submit our request. You'll then see a page that says our ticket has been created and sent in to the help desk. I'm also going to receive an email copy of my ticket in my TTU email. Then the help desk will contact me with the key I need and I'll be ready to finish my software installation. Let's go through how to check on the status of your tickets and how to update and say never mind to them. To see my tickets from this page, I could click on view your ticket requests here, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to access it from the homepage. We'll go there again. Then we'll select the check status button under check my tickets. This shows me a full list of the currently open tickets that I've created. If I click on the one that we just made, I can see more details about it and can withdraw my ticket if I no longer need the issue to be addressed. You can update your ticket and alert the IT people assigned to it by clicking on the comment button here at the bottom, or you can also just respond to the email sent to you when the ticket was created and it will automatically update your ticket with the content of your email. When your IT person updates your ticket to either ask you a question or let you know that it's been resolved, an email notifying you of their message will also be sent to your inbox. Thank you so much for taking a look at this new portal with me. We look forward to connecting you with the answers and people you need faster and easier. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact the help desk by phone at 931-372-3975, by email at helpdesk at tntech.edu, or in person at our desk in the Library Learning Commons. Thank you so much, Golden Eagles. We can't wait to bring this change to you.